digging around in the mailbag again. I'm sorry, guys. I'll get to you, honest. And one of the questions I get a lot is, or you know, one of the concerns that I hear a lot is, I'm afraid of my oxygen acetylene. You know, when I turn it on, it pops, and you know, sometimes when I'm welding, it pops. And so I thought, well, let's kind of start at the beginning here, just a little bit. So I like to just open the bottles up a quarter turn, both the oxygen and the acetylene. Just, just a quarter turn open is all you need. Uh, a lot of guys believe that you have to open them all the way up because otherwise you'll get a leak in here if the valve is not sealed all the way against the top. The guy I talked to at Prax Air, the place that fills my bottles, he said, you know, the older ones were like that, you know, the older valves were like that, they would leak, but the newer valves, and they've been changing them, you know, he says, the newer valves, they, they're just not built that way. They, they, they don't leak like that. So, go with whatever you guys are comfortable with. You know, that's what I do. Uh, set your regulators the way the manufacturer suggests for the tip that you're using. So now, one of the safety things that I like to preach here when somebody's helping me is you don't need the cart right next to you when you're welding. You know, you got 15, 20, you know, sometimes as much as 50 feet worth of hose on those things. Put them over there. Get them away from where you're working. So if you do have a leak over there and you get a spark here, you get a pop, you get a whatever, it's not going to start the bottles on fire. Put them over there someplace. You know, uh, you should check all your connections, you know, before you start every day. Get out the little squeeze bottle, little soapy water, turn your regulators on or turn your gas on so the system has got pressure in it. Check all your connections, you know, make sure there's no leaks. Look at your hose, make sure it's not all cracked or torn or cut or whatever. Lighten the torch uh, is really, really easy. The red is the acetylene, the green is the oxygen. Same as the green bottle over there. That's a good way to remember it. The green line goes to the green bottle, and that's the oxygen. So first thing you do, the acetylene knob, I open it about an eighth of a turn. Now that's just the acetylene burning. And then just crack open your crack open your <laughs> oxygen. And you can see the flame starting to change. And you just keep slowly opening your oxygen. And I'll just close the acetylene just a little, just to keep the noise down. But you see the way this flame looks right here, with the kind of the jagged edge on it. You got that bright blue spot right in the middle. And then you got the, the lighter blue, and it's kind of raggedy looking. It's not adjusted correctly. If that's not a neutral flame, open up your oxygen just a little more. And now you got that nice sharp cone right there. You got that nice sharp tip inside the inside the big flame. What you want to pay attention to is that blue flame in the center. So that's considered a neutral flame. You know, now you're ready to start welding, you're ready to start bending, you know, whatever it is that you were going to do with this torch. Now, do you have to keep adjusting it while you're welding? No. The only time you have to adjust it is when you bump it with your hand or you hit it on whatever you're working around, you know, and the knob gets, you know, the knob gets hit just a little bit. You know, the knob gets bumped, things get out of adjustment. Or you start to run out of gas. Well, you know, the gas should stay the same up here because of the pressure regulator. The pressure is going to stay the same until you're down to almost nothing in the bottle. And it's just going to not work anymore. You're going to lose your oxygen or you're settling one or the other. So to turn it off once you're done, if you close the acetylene first and then the oxygen, it just shuts itself off. Now let me light it back up. If you close the oxygen first, and then the acetylene. Now you're, you're shut off. Sometimes, sometimes you'll get a pop out of it when you're turning it off. If you close the acetylene first, it'll pop. 
it's not bad. You know, it's a little scary when it happens. You're not expecting it, but you know, you're not going to blow up. It's not going to catch fire or nothing like that. So normally what you should do, turn the oxygen off, then turn the acetylene off. Turn your bottles off. Some guys like to bleed the pressure out. Once you turn the bottles off, then you open your valves back up to bleed the pressure out of the line. I think it's a waste of gas myself. You know, that stuff costs money. Let's save it as much as we can. So I hope that helps point you in the right direction there. You know, they're not scary. They're really not that scary to work around. Uh, you just have to respect them a little bit. You know, that sucker gets warm. So hope that answers your question. I'll see you later.